Hey guys, good to be back with you. Um, I'm Josh for those that don't know me and I'm here to bring you the next exciting instalment of what we're doing in Sunday School. Okay, so we're going to carry on from what Jackie was doing last week and we're going to keep looking at Paul and we're going to be looking at the same stuff that the grown-ups are talking about. So remember, quiz the grown-ups, ask them lots of uh, all the questions you have and see what they think, okay, so that you can uh, chat about that together. And so I am going to read you the next little bit of Paul's story, okay? And so this week we're looking at serving, we're looking at jobs, different jobs that Jesus gives us, different jobs um, we can do for each other, and what serving means as a whole. So that's going to be really exciting, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm going to read a little story from Paul's life, and then we'll get started, okay guys? So, it goes like this. On one of these days I was going to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priests. About noon, as I was on the road, I saw a light from heaven. I haven't, where's my light? Might not work, I've got a light. There we go. So a light from heaven, it was brighter than the sun. Mine's not brighter than the sun, but I, I haven't got a cool light. Um, blazing all around me and my companions. We all fell to the ground, and I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Then I asked, who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, who you are persecuting, the Lord replied. Now get up, stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. I will rescue you from your from your own people um, and I am sending you to them. I am to open their eyes and to turn them from the darkness to the light and from the power of evil to God so that they may, may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified or made right by faith in me. So that's really cool. So Paul was walking along the road and an amazingly bright light came and Jesus said, Paul, Paul um, at this point was still uh, persecuting, he was being really horrible to Christians, he was going around and killing them and doing all sorts of really horrible things and Jesus came and said, Paul, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you doing this? Come on, I've got, I've got much better things for you. And he um, said, Paul, I'm giving you a job, okay, I'm giving you a job, I'm going to make you a servant, I'm going to give you a job to serve and I'm going to um, give you the job that you're going to go around all the different groups of people and you're going to tell them about me you're going to share the story i want to go and rescue them i want them to be my friends i want them to be to be um have better lives i want them to um yeah be best friends with me and so i want you to go around and tell them about me about all the stuff that i've done and so paul was like yeah of course and so he went and um did what jesus had asked now um what is uh so in the Bible just then it said about serving and um, we're looking at serving today. Now serving, you might think, when you think of serving, you might think of like a servant or a waiter carrying your food or you might think of someone uh, having to do lots of horrible jobs or stuff, but that's not what the Bible says it is at all. Serving is just doing something for God or doing something in worship to God. And so serving can mean lots of things and there's lots of people at church who serve. Um, it could be anything from uh, Chris when he's doing uh, um, standing up and doing the, the preaching it could be the people making the teas and coffees. It could be Jackie when she's um, spending time uh, doing lots of awesome stuff for you guys. And yeah, it's amazing. Serving is something that we all have to do. We've, Jesus has got jobs for all of us, and that's really amazing. Serving is something that we not only do for God, it's something we do for each other as well. We serve each other. That's what Jesus said when he said, um, love others if you loved yourself. Serve others. Make sure others are, are happy and healthy and have got everything they need. You can do, do things for them. And that's another story we're going to look at now. Um, now we're going to look at a story in the Bible of Jesus serving. Okay, so once back ages and ages ago, there was um, a big festival happening where Jesus was, and so him and his disciples went up to go and have some food. This was near the time um, just before Jesus died, and so they um, they went upstairs to have some food. And just before they started eating, Jesus took off his coat or his outer cloak thing. Um, and he got a big bowl and he started washing their feet. Now, washing their feet to us today sounds a bit weird. Like, I'm not, I was thinking about this today. Like, I'm not really sure how you do it. Like, I've got a, I've got a sponge and some Febreze. And so I did that. It's so that, a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit strange. No. And so, um, but back in those days, it was a really, really important thing. Because everyone, because it was so hot, everyone would go around wearing sandals. Um, and they go around. And because of the, oh, the um, roads were all dusty and dirty, when you came to have a meal at the end of the day, you'd have really horrible and disgusting feet, probably a bit like my feet. Um, and when you're eating, you'd eat on a, on a low table, and so everyone could see your disgusting feet. 
and it wouldn't be very hygienic and it would be very disgusting. And so it'd usually be a job of one of the servants around the table to come around with a bowl and wash your feet, make sure your feet were all clean so people won't have to look and smell all the dirt and stuff on your feet, which would be a bit disgusting. But at this time, Jesus, who was the uh, all, most awesome man who ever existed, the, the king of everything, um, took a bowl, took off his cloak, put on a towel around his waist and started washing his disciples' feet. Now, he did this for a few reasons. Um, one of the reasons he did this was um, to show what was coming in the future, just just as um, Jesus was cleaning our feet, because of as, as we've um, people have gone through life and as we've gone through the world, they've got all dirty. He was about to go and clean us of all our sin, all the things we've done wrong. He was going to serve and sacrifice himself so that we could be clean and have a relationship with him. And that's amazing. He was um, showing us what was coming in the future. Another reason he did this was to, to show what we need to do to, for others. He was showing that no matter who you are, he said, no master is um, better than his servants. Because when we um, have out and about living life, no one's better than anybody else. And so we need to be prepared to serve people and to do great things for other people as well. And that was really, really important. And so Jesus was showing us that as well. And so Jesus was showing that serving and doing jobs are really, really important. And that's even Jesus did it. And so it's something we can definitely need to do today. And so as we go out into the world this week, I want to give you a challenge, which is how can we serve God and how can we serve other people? I believe God gives everybody jobs and gives everybody a role and purpose for their life. And so I am. Um, I think my job personally is coming to church and doing, um, getting to do amazing things uh, with all the young people. And I think God gives jobs to everyone. Like God has given uh, Chris the job of leading the church and preaching. He's given Jackie the job of um, doing all the awesome kid stuff. Um, and new stuff and I think that's amazing but actually it's not just about the jobs we do it's about how we serve people throughout the week um, and how we do it day to day and so maybe it's things like uh, doing the washing up for your mum and dad or cleaning the house or um, or maybe doing something nice for other people so maybe um, as we're still in a, um, in a lockdown uh, maybe going and doing someone shopping who's in a bit of a vulnerable position and can't get out or helping them with their jobs or helping maybe you've got some um, elderly people who can't do um, some of the jobs around the house and so maybe you can go and help them with that it's about serving others and going I know I'm not better than you so I'm going to help you and serve you and that's what Paul um, was doing by um, serving Jesus and so he was serving Jesus um, and the people around him and that's what Jesus was doing by serving the disciples and sacrificing himself for us and so that is the challenge of this week how can we serve each other and serve God this week all we have to do is pray and God will um, and ask God to tell us what um, he wants us to do um, and God will show us what he wants us um, what he wants for us as our, as our job, as our purpose for life. Um, and as Jesus said um, in the Bible, this is how um, the people will know that we're Christians, is by how we love one another and how we serve one another. And I think that's amazing. And so that is our challenge for this week. I hope you have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.